and welcome back to part 3 of docking permission requested. As usual, the link for the 21 drill trial will be in the video description, so if you haven't gotten an EVA account yet, or just want to get a longer uh, trial going than a regular 14 days one, you can always click that. And let's just dive in with the second part of the military career tutorial. So, the next mission uh, involves us going to meet up with a pirate at a repair outpost following his instructions and reporting back to the agent. Sounds good. Now, uh, since we last did a tutorial, I actually trained up um, after burn to level 1, so we can actually, if memory serves, equip this thing now. Equip to active ship. And there we go, we now have an afterburner, which is most excellent. So yeah, let's head out and do this mission. I'm actually gonna mean last chat because it's kind of annoying. It's in the way. And there we are, undocked. And we'll just warp to the mission location now. As you will notice, the Archerburner has now also popped up in the um, HUD. Now, if I run everything as at once, if I run the um, small arm repair, afterburner, and the guns, I will be out of capacitor in like uh, 43 seconds, so it's better to pulse all this. There we go, we met the pirate. Uh, you have gone through a pretty hazardous ordeal, having to fight against our new recruits and brave one of our traps. We certainly give you credit for getting it all in one piece. Uh, you have guts. Okay, so apparently they want to try and recruit us. Let's see, local if we get anything. No. Okay, I think we just have to eliminate the bugger. So, let's just go for that. We'll just click the bugger. We'll orbit him, as we always do. But in this instance, our optimal range is actually 6,900 meters. Well, actually, that's a fall-off range. The optimal range is 3,000. So, we can actually orbit a bit for a rat this time around. Let's... Set it at about four, five hundred, and open fire. And there we go. Boom. Yeah, he's dying slowly. Okay, shut up, you. He's nearly dead. He's done. Okay. In this case, I'm actually going to check if there's some decent loot in it. So, I'm just going to approach the wreck and see if there's anything in there. Also, do I have to do anything else for this mission? Nah, we don't have to do anything else, so just select everything. And these are actually electronic warfare modules, which won't be all that useful to you as of yet. Oh, there's a serpent's refuge in the system. I'm actually gonna do that, so if you click on one of these things, it's something that your scanner picked up, uh, and you can actually warp to them. And they're basically just small encounters that sometimes give you something like some item drops or some cash from the bounties. But mainly they're just time wasters. Still, it's kind of fun to do, so let's quickly do one now. It's a little distraction, let's put it like that. And we can actually demonstrate the effects of the afterburner while we arrive and do this one. So here we go. Uh, there's no one else on site except for some enemies. So we'll just lock everything up and start engaging. Oh, someone else has arrived in the nav with us. No, that's not too bad. Let's activate the afterburner and get in range. Oh dear lord, no, this, this is hit for a metric ton. We're actually gonna get out of here. Like, right now. Because we're clearly not ready for this. Uh, yeah, as a new player, I would definitely recommend getting the hell out of dodge if you feel like you've bitten up more than you can actually chew. Which in this instance, well, it was just one hit, but our shield was nearly completely gone, so yeah. <laughs> Let's not lose a ship just yet. We have plenty of opportunities in the future for that. So yeah, docked again, let's talk to the agent. And if we complete the mission, we get a thermic uh, dissipation field. 
Now we do fly Galantis ships, so it's actually kind of redundant for us to learn about shield tanking, because we will mainly be armor tanking. I could always train for it, but I'm not really inclined to do so because it's just a waste of time. So the next mission, uh, we have to destroy Wolf's outpost, and we will find it in the final uh, room of the complex. And we will also get a limited ocular filter. Now this is an implant, and if you see the prerequisites here, we actually need the cybernetic skill to be able to use this. So we're gonna plan ahead a bit, and we're gonna buy this skill already. We'll just pop it into our head right now. So I'm gonna train this to level 1 immediately. Note that because I trained to level 1, um, I'm immediately putting it in front of the Pulsion Jamming skill. Uh, so it's gonna be training right now. Now, okay, since we've done this, we will accept the mission. And we will just head out to clear that outpost. Again, warping to the mission location. And I'm just gonna skip ahead right now. Alright, as we land we see that there is an acceleration gate, so we will be activating this to get in here. Oh, big surprise, we've got a few hostiles. Um, except for the hostiles, there's really nothing here. Now, if we try to activate the acceleration gate, it says that we have to take out the enemies first, so we'll go do just that right now. Let's orbit the enemy. They're actually a bit far out, so I could potentially activate the afterburner for a single cycle, and you see the speed is going up substantially. As soon as we close range, we will actually start landing some proper hits, which we are doing right now. So that's one belt bit. Now let's move on to the next one. Again, a single cycle is main is enough to get actually in range of these guys. Single cycle deactivate immediately. And there you go, he's dead. A few more are spawning in, but it's no big issue. And they're going down fairly well. Let's get the next one. Oh, there's actually quite a bit coming in right now, but we will just keep blasting them to shreds and hopefully we will eliminate them before they can start landing some proper hits on us. I'm actually orbiting way too close now. I'm gonna set the default to 5000 meters. So, the way you can set default is just by right clicking something that you have to orbit, then go to orbit and going down to set default. There are of course other methods of doing this. You can also right click and then set default orbit distance and do it like this. But whatever suits you best. Um, I mean, I'm just doing it the way I like it best, but this doesn't necessarily have to be the way that you uh, find the most optimal. We are nearly done, we're clearing the map quite quickly actually. And there we go, everything is dealt with. Now we activate the acceleration gate. And we will... Oh, we're not getting stuck on this rock, excellent. So as soon as you are in warp, you will just basically warp through anything that might be in your way, but before you get to warp, you still have to um, go around stuff. And this might actually prevent you from going into warp altogether. Now this is the outpost, so just lock it up, and then blast the thing to shreds. Yep, there we go. A uh, few enemies showed up. We can eliminate them, or we can just run away. I'm gonna try and eliminate them to see if this works. Actually, these have quite a bit of shield and armor, so I'm not gonna bother. We can just get out of here, which is what I'm gonna do now. So we're gonna dock at the agent home base. And not be wasting any ammo. We will be able to take them out, but it wouldn't really give us anything useful, so... Again, skipping ahead of war. Alright, so let's just hand in the mission. And now we do get this implant which we can't currently use because we're still training the skill. 
Uh, I will be able to use it in 90 minutes. So for now, we're just going to let it leave here and request the next mission. Uh, we're getting new armor repair for this one. And we have to destroy pirates at a convoy ambush site. So let's just get to that. Accepting, undocking, and skipping ahead. You know the deal by now. So here we are again, mission site. We've got two pirates. They're actually kind of far away, so we'll just activate the optimer and close range. Might actually have to do two cycles here. We're gonna let run for another cycle, and then we deactivate it as soon as the second cycle has started, and it will just run until the end of the second cycle. And there we go. Oh, new pirates are coming in. Not to worry though. We'll be able to take these out as well. This one dealt with. Now, ah, onto the second one. As you will notice, I'm mainly using hotkeys to activate modules and lock targets. So, if you missed the previous episode, it's um, F1 to shoot the primary module, F2 to fire the secondary module. And, yeah, control click for locking targets. I do beg your pardon. Um, could really hold it. I tried to, but it didn't work. Okay, we're getting some hits landed on us, but it's nothing major. I mean, they're barely scratching the shield. So no need to be alarmed or panic or anything of the sort. I do have to be careful not to get stuck on um, any of the objects here. So I'm flying manually at the moment. Again, double click an empty space will move you in the direction you do desire to go. Alright, let's eliminate this final bugger. And then turn around to finish the five more that are waiting for me on the other side. I'm actually too close for my guns to land proper hits, so I'm getting some distance again. And this one is actually repairing itself, which is kind of annoying. Okay, there we go, he's down. I'm gonna afterburn out of this geometry and eliminate these two that are sniping from afar. There we go, open fire. And starting to land some decent hits. Shield is gone, his armor is being dented quite substantially, even. Yeah, we're into structure, and this guy's going down. Just two more hits. Okay. Good, the other guy's getting in range here, so let's eliminate him as well. Let's get this one now. It's trying to run away the bugger. So shield is still up, so we don't have to activate our armor repair, which is all good. Um, also, as a point of interest, if you do activate an afterburner while you're being shot at, then you are orbiting the enemy. It will be quite hard for them to actually hit you because you're going faster than their guns can track you. Now, this tactic doesn't work as well against frigates as it does against uh, larger enemies, but it still works pretty good, I mean, all things considered. Okay, yep. now just for a final guy, I'm actually gonna burn towards him. The downside, of course, of using after burn is that it's slightly harder for you to land hits as well. So again, let's dock up because the mission is complete. And here we are docked again. Let's just land on the mission as per usual and request the next one. So, the next one is we have to fly to a hotel. At the hotel we have to um, retrieve VIPs by the look of things. And if something is amiss we have to report back to the agent. Now, it's funny because you will note you don't have to bring any VIPs back to the station, so you can actually note that they probably won't be alive by the time we get there. Uh, we will get weapon upgrades and overdrive injection systems if we do this mission, so I say we'd best do this mission. Again, we'll undock and warp to the mission site. Here we are to the mission site. The hostel is right there. Uh, but Aura pops up and says there are no signs in the habitation module, so we have to fly towards it. So let's just do that. There's radioactive gas flowing about the place. Corpses floating around. 
Yeah, this isn't exactly convenient. I do expect pirates to pop up. It's a trap. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, armor getting hit. Let's repair. Okay, we should leave immediately. I do suggest we actually do that. It's what we need. So we'll dock at the Asian station. There's enemies popping up. We can activate deactivate the armor repair because our armor is repaired to full. And we were actually warping it out of the base, so that's good. And here we are again, docked. Okay, let's complete this mission and request the last one. Uh, we are getting a stasis web fire for the next one, which is quite excellent. Except for the fact that we are now training cybernetics and we actually need propulsion jamming in order to use that stasis web fire. But it's only 24 minutes, so it's not too bad. So we have to go destroy a narcotics warehouse this time around. Alright, we're about to land mission site. Now my ammo is completely full, so I'm gonna press Ctrl plus R. This will actually recharge um, all my charges on the guns. It's always a good idea to do that while in warp. Uh, and not at the actual mission site itself, because you can't fire while you're reloading. I see three enemies, so let's get close and destroy them. I'm again using the afterburn to close range faster. First one down. Second one down. No, to eliminate the final one. And there we go. Oh, we more have popped up. Let's turn around. We're actually waiting for her to properly land any hits, so just hold fire. Uh, still too far out, but couldn't be ours to wait. I'm um, actually gonna show you something. So if you activate the overlay, which I just did, you will see that there is this whitish bubble. This whitish bubble is actually the maximum targeting range. So if anything is inside of that bubble, you can target it. And then if you mouse over your weapons, it will show a smaller bubble. And this smaller bubble, well actually two smaller bubbles. And between those two smaller bubbles, if you have an enemy in that range, you will actually be able to land proper hits. So now I can't really hit them all that well, but as soon as he starts moving around inside of this bubble, you see, hits are starting to land. Now everything is eliminated, so let's go to the next gate. Okay, that should be the narcotics warehouse. No, it's actually a radioactive cargo rig. I'm curious. See three enemies. I don't see much else really. Uh, let's add large collidable objects over. Oh, there's a narcotics warehouse. Okay, so let's eliminate eliminate the enemies first because those are fairly close by. Again, you can use the overlay to help yourself maneuver and, and shoot better. That's your choice, really. Oh, accidentally stopped firing a bit too soon. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, three more have popped up, but we're just gonna go straight for the narcotics warehouse right now. Uh, we're slightly too far out. Let's just get a bit closer. Okay, now we're starting to shoot it. I'm just gonna sit still here. Now the enemies aren't shooting me so that's why I can't sit still. If I was actually in range of the enemies um, I wouldn't be sitting still at all because that would just let me die really quickly. So 
so it's dying fairly well. Just sit here and wait. The enemy ships are approaching, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on those guys. As you can see here um, from the white dots, that's actually the same plane I am on. So their distance is uh, between 20, 10 and 20 kilometers, uh, but they also are slightly higher. So you have to take that into account as well. Okay, so Narcotics Warehouse is destroyed. Now, you will notice the can has dropped, but we don't need anything, so it's highly likely that this contains some drugs. I'll just quickly check it. Yeah, uh, nerve sticks. Now, if you show info on items like this, you see that there's a legality uh, involved. Now, flying around with this in your cargo holds um, means that if uh, some patrol scans you, you'll actually lose uh, standings and you will also get the items confiscated. So it's just generally a better idea to leave those where they are. But of course it's your own judgment call. So now that mission is done, we can just simply dock up again. So let's hand in the mission, as we usually do. And request the final one. Now, you should note you get a Tristan for doing this one. Uh, it's also an important mission because it will have significant impact on our standing. So let's try our best and complete it. And um, yeah, we'll get uh, Tristan and the Sharpshooter. Actually, uh, this is a granted item, so we receive the Tristan immediately if we accept the mission. Now, the Tristan is actually a drone boat. If you right click and show in on it, it will list this to you. So it has some bonuses to hybrid tracking. Uh, but it also has 10% bonuses to drone tracking and hit points. Now, if you go to fitting, you will notice it actually has only two turrets, and since we don't have any drone skills as of yet, it's better that we just stick with the current uh, ship we use, because we know how to use this one. And we have the skills to use this one. So let's just undock and finish up this mission. Now, if I read the mission description, we have to take out Wolf. So that's uh, the NPC we actually have to kill this time around. Uh, again, let's walk to the mission site. And um, it's important to note that this time we have to move to Orcelar to actually complete the mission. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll just skip ahead uh, until we arrive in Orcelar. Alright, so we have arrived in Orcelar and we will now work to the mission location. It's a fairly lengthy work. Um, Meanwhile, I will be explaining some other things that you can do. So you've got this button. This is a reset camera button. So for instance, if I zoom out all the way and I press this button, oh, it will zoom me back in. Now, if I'm looking at something else while doing this, it will also reset the camera to this uh, viewpoint. I already discussed the tactical overlay. And you've also got the scanner. Now, you've got directional scan, which is used to scan other uh, player ships. You've got probe scanner, which we will get into at a later point. And let's take the acceleration gate while uh, discussing. Um, then we have also got the moon analysis thing, which is only useful in Nullsec. And basically every moon in EVE has been scanned thus far, so it's actually kind of redundant. Ooh, cybernetic strange. This is excellent. And then we've got the sensor overlay. And the sensor overlay is... Uh, basically the thing that automatically scans for you. And you can turn it off and on using this. So yeah, we've got a few enemies, let's just eliminate them. And they're yellow boxing me. Brilliant. Okay, a one-shot kill, I love it. And this will not be a one-shot kill by other things. Okay. Uh, we actually have way too much stuff in our overview. So let's just switch to the missions overview. Okay, this is also kind of useless. Uh, let's see if I can load a default that's useful for this. Uh, general drones, all leads. Let's try general. No, general is useless as well. Yeah, I'll have to make this custom then, if I only want to see the rats. Oh well, too bad. I wonder if I do load PvP, it will probably not show enemies. Nah, it didn't. Okay. So the default overview is, well, a decent basis. Don't have everything you really need. Oh god, this is even worse. <laughs> Let's not do that. 
Uh, let's just go to general and run with that. I can also, yeah, I'm just gonna filter on icons and then the OSL and PC icons will actually show at the top. This is probably the best way of doing it at the moment. Okay, let's eliminate the final guy. And then just reach the acceleration gate. I think I may have turned around a bit too soon. Yeah, I'm not hitting him anymore. Okay, let's turn around again. Okay, and now we can actually turn around because he's dead. So let's activate the acceleration gate and then boost ourselves into range. Alright, we've got four enemies, but some more might actually spawn in. So let's again use the afterburn to get into range. We don't have to use the armor repair all that much really, because they generally don't do enough damage to break the shields. So yeah, let's piss them off a bit. We are yellow boxing already, which is always excellent. And let's start with the other one that's close by. Let's first one down, second one going down now. Yeah, let's start with the next one. Yeah, two more have spawned. Actually, a bit too far away for me to properly target. Okay, now they are. And if I'm not careful, I might bump into this thing. Let's go below this. Right, we got it. one down and a second one and hopefully no more will spawn This one is a tough one to crack. Look at things. Just gonna slow down a bit so I can land better hits. Okay, I think we have him now. Let's get to the gate while we're shooting the guy. And there he goes down. No, oh shit, two more spawned. Bloody assholes. Oh, leave well enough to learn. Okay. Yeah, he's going down. 
turns into structure now. Just a few more hits. Come on, die, you bloody asshole. Okay, this them down. Now the other one. No, this one is going down properly. Yes, much less effort. Okay, this was the final one. So let's approach gates, reload the guns, and see if Volt is actually in the next spot. I really do dearly hope so. Ah, here we are. Okay, there's a stasis tower. This is the first thing you want to shoot. Because a stasis tower is as bad as a webby drone, since they shut down your speed. So I'm just opening everything I've got on the damn thing. There you see, it's actually webbing me. Even with afterburn, my speed is actually really slow. I'm not going to take a lot to actually take this damn thing now. Let's just set ourselves to orbit it. 2.5 should be plenty. And then next up we need to take out Wolves out first. So. Okay, shield is getting low, we're getting some warnings. Not to worry, because we still haven't hit armor. And until that happens I'm feeling fairly confident. Okay, we get some armor bleed. This might happen. If the shields are getting low, you might actually start taking some damage to the armor. No need for concern, we'll just activate the armor repair for a few cycles. Stasis tower is nearly down. Now, if everything else were to fail and you were taking substantial damage, you can always warp out. In fact, that's highly recommend that you warp out or lose a ship. So there we go, that thing's down. Most excellent. And now Wolf himself has actually spawned, so let's start it. Up. It's in a pod, so it shouldn't be too hard to take down. There we go. Uh, the warnings we're currently getting is because our capacitor is fairly low. But Wolf is down, it's good. We'll check what the cargo container has to offer. Nothing really. So, yeah, let's eliminate the final guys. And the still navy ship. And now we can get out of here. Perhaps not the best choice to primary the stolen navy ship, but let's just go with it. It's just a simple ish gun with blasters by looking at things. And it's about to die. There we go, dead. Okay, let's start the final two guys. Alright, just one more and we're done. There's also a flight buzzing around here somewhere, I don't know how to go in. So I do apologize for the fly annoying you and me. And meanwhile, um, Propulsion Jam is actually nearly trained level 1. So let's just get another level of afterburn and after motion prediction because it's quite convenient. There we go, the mission is complete. So let's reload, take one armor cycle to repair and head back to station. And I can't remember where it was, oh, it was booster, so we set the destination. You can always use the agent mission to set the destination to the objective or the agent base. And now I will skip ahead until we re arrive. So we re arrived in Cooser and are currently on our way to dock in the station. The only thing that remains is to hand in the mission and we will have actually completed the uh, first career military agent. So, as soon as we've done that, we're just gonna inject the implants, and then we will call this a day, and I'll see you guys at the next episode. But first, we have to hand in the mission. So here we go. Let's complete the mission. 
And let's check out the shiny new Tristan we have. There we go. Ooh, shiny! Now we have to wait the full 33 seconds for the skill to train. Uh, so let's get ready. So first thing we need is the implant. The second thing we need is the attributes uh, window so I can actually show you what those are. So attributes you've basically got. You've got two remaps. You've always got these. And um, the way these attributes work is if you want to train a skill, for instance shield management, let's show it on now. You will notice it has a few attributes, so it's got a primary one and a secondary one. Intelligent and intelligence and memory in these cases. Now, if I were to train this skill, and I would have um, some more points in intelligence and memory, this train would actually train faster. Okay, there we go. This is train. So let's uncheck the implants. We have to pause the training queue first. Then we have to go to the implants. We have to plug it in. Yes, we want to plug this one in. And then apply it. And now you will all of a sudden notice that our perception went from 20 points of perception to 21 points. Now the reason being is that this particular implant gives you a plus one bonus to perception. So now any skill that actually requires a perception um, trait in order to train uh, will actually train slightly faster. And you've got a variety of implants. So this is a limited one. You've got also standard and, and um, improved and what's not. So uh, they all give you additional uh, plus uh, traits to your implants, to, well, to your attributes. Now remap you can also do. Uh, do remember you've only got the two remaps at the start and once you actually uh, have used those up you have to wait a year before you can do the next one. Um, generally speaking, charisma skills are not that useful, so what most people generally do is just get these two out of here and uh, assign it to something else, uh, like willpower or intelligence or whatever. Now, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now, but you might want to consider this. Um, Evemon is also a tool you might want to Google. Uh, it's just written as I just pronounced, it's like Eve and then M-O-M. Um, and it can actually help you get your training plans going. I might actually include a link in the video description. But yeah, again, it's, it's up to you what you do with it. And if you have a training plan, you can actually start uh, remapping the attributes to optimize for a training plan. I myself do not do it, uh, but I knew several people that actually do it. It's just because I'm, I think, too lazy to do this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's it. Again, if you want a 21-day trial, link is in the description below. And I uh, will see you guys next time for uh, the next agent. This will probably be Exploration or Advanced Military. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's a surprise. So we'll see. Bye. Oh, and before I forget, you can always uh, like and, and comment and uh, ask questions, and I will try to help you. Also, subscribe if you want to see more, obviously.